Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Unlocked. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. That is... So Sejima. was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this... Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. 
This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Iba, speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. <laughs> An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> What? But it was so heavy! But nothing happened. Oh? 
What is this? A deflated balloon. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you getting so worked up about? Understood. It's huge. I wish your boobs were that big. Are you serious? Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get the Suki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. can fly? Date, over there! Iris! Why? Why is Iris... She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Iba, look out! What? <sighs> I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. 
But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. It's Mizuki. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Coming from Date, don't you can't stay any longer. Still traumatized. Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. This is Kaname Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. But if I do... Will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. Then go on a date with me. A date? If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If you don't promise me, then... I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! What was that? A phone call? It's nothing.
Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was wiped. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Mizuki. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere, or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor the sinker is merely the audience. I know about the ringtone you heard, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab-proof armor or something. <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real-life prophecies. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Clues, right. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. 
I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees insomnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. So we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse. Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyam. Her name is Iris Sagan, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. I hope that's all it is. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. A traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Excuse me, miss, but you shouldn't be here. This is private property. Wait. Your body is... transparent? Wait. Uh, are you a ghost? Idiot. It's me. Who you? Me? It's me. Whom? I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then... Aiba? But why? I just thought I would protect myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? 
I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear in Somnium. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced syncing many times with you. Although, it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Reika from Tiefblau. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly, but they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Seems in the horse's body. The 
horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. I got it! Yes. Good job, Iva. Iba, who owned this phone? The number is... This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. Date, look at the device history. Gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. This number is also from a rental phone. No owner is registered. Battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. Uh, my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh, you think so? What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. You're telling me. Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Damn, call denied. Call denied? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reika from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Damn, you remember that? Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? 
Near 3rd Street, Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line. Because you blew it. <sighs> Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah. I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. <laughs> <laughs>